minister at the Gosford Anglican Church, and I'm sure most of you have heard of him before and seen his stuff on Facebook and the, the signs that the Anglican Church there has. So uh, I'll just hand you over to Father Bob, and he, he can tell you what he wants. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. I'd first like to uh, acknowledge that we have been walking today through the land of Gungor people. This is Aboriginal land, it always was. Never seen it, and uh, we thank them for the privilege of walking in this land. Uh, secondly, I'd just like to say a big thank you to Sergeant Peter and the uh, police for getting us here. Thank you guys. Fantastic. Thank you. Yeah. Archbishop Edmund too said, uh, if in neutral situations of injustice, you have chosen the side of the oppressor. Now, Adam and Adam have chosen neutral, but they have chosen the side of the oppressed. And so must we. I want to say thank you. Yeah. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Thank you for leading us to this place. Today. Adam have walked almost 1,200 kilometres, but they have not done this alone. People are walking. They're walking all over this planet, walking to escape oppression, violence and abuse, walking hopefully towards a better, safer, more animated life. And we must walk with them, if not physically, then in spirit. We must not and we cannot walk away from them. We can only walk towards them and with them. But there are three and in many developed nations who refuse to walk with the asylum seeker and the regime. Not only do they refuse to walk with them, but they feel the need to run away from them. They feel the need because, because they are afraid. Fear of others, yes, but also if fear of the fragility of the own life situation. Of course, in the developed world, it is life is never as tenuous as the marketing machines want us to believe. And certainly never as frightening as the populace need us to believe. If we do release some of the vulnerable people from the oppression of our government, we want to close the camp, we want to grow something less than a life that is a life of freedom and peace. Then we must first free the Australian people, grip of and fear they for three things in this true world where turning back to win the day and what is right like a never-ending dream, to quote the Dr. King. Sin must have an lucent violence in it. And Dr. King said, I refuse to kill my enemy, I refuse to hate him. We must oppose the rise of this new nationalism with Every fiber of our being. But the nonviolent call that is the moment that the call is lost. Firstly, we must appreciate in double experience. In China, in the native movement, he has a blood. 
and he wrote a short journey. There's a long way we are well away with the proud of the time in our own. It's not better. And so we might be giving hope. So we will tell we will blow that fight the truth. Human beings of equality. We do not only want to live peace by intentionally cutting. We talk about generosity, but I believe there is a lot of coming people of us into life and into life. But we will help our others, which is supposed to live in the with us. For the sake of our national all minutes us do this, we will do this, and we <laughs> And so now you body should have one of you best one another. Thank you very much.
the greatest athletes is a back to which the elite. The intent to stand up and speak. You have a sign to say a little. This time is wrong. And so I hope I said, I'll write it. Right. Now it's time to be now again. Friends, we're looking at the same and the giants shouting all that discrimination and illegalism. Now Adam Richards and his magnificent
in work goals. I think she's in my own active support to the Definitely people that believe their freedom. Never mentioned short. 
and we Foundation policy. And the 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 and